the home of the common Joe and the common Sally in the know, even more so than all those media talking heads. Oh, my Gundy had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had no sooners, <laughs> because they're not going to play them anymore. He's crying here, he's crying there. I'm a man. I'm 53. Pick on me. Mike, dude, please shut up, man. Oh, we're moving on. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not moving on all with the little statements you've been making. Let's talk about it. Well, 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 here we go again. Off and running, another episode of the OCF. That's the Outlaw of College Football. That's me, JPC. And I can also be contacted on Facebook under Jesse Paul Clark, spelled J-E-S-S-E without the I. Also on Twitter at OCF Productions. Now getting right into it. Oh, I'm a man. I'm 53. I'm 55. I'm 62. I'm retiring one day. I don't know what the hell his age is. I really don't give a shit because he's lived off that little speech for almost 10 years and his little hypocritical mantras. <laughs> and Mike going to get in here and preach to everybody and tell everybody in this little SI article about how childish we all are for talking about this stuff. And we need to move on and play football and then I'm going to keep talking about it, even though I just told everybody else not to talk about it. And I'm going to say that it's almost like a husband and wife breaker. <laughs> really? How are you going to tell people to stop talking about it and you're still talking about it, jackass? I lost a lot of respect for you, Mike. I used to respect you, man. I thought you was a man's man. You was, I'm a man, I'm 40, all that good shit, right? <laughs> but no, nah, man. You're a big old hypocrite, man. We saw that when you bowed down to the, to the political agendas and the political mobs of those liberal people that basically are a bunch of hypocrites. Like I've said before a thousand times, I'm going to say it again. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I'm none of those things. So you can't come in here and play that narrative. I'm just calling you out for what you are. The Republicans mess up. The conservatives messed up. I'll call them out too. But you bow down to it, Mike. You bow down to it and you expect us to respect your opinion about the Bedlam series? And I don't have it in front of me, but if I'm not mistaken, this ain't really a series. This is not really a rivalry. It's like playing someone out of cherry, and every once in a while they'll win a game. True, Oklahoma State's won a few more games in the past 10 to 15 years than they normally are used to. But this is no rivalry. This ain't, this ain't like... Oklahoma and Texas, where it's actually a rivalry and it's somewhat close, you got to be within at least 20 to 25 games of a, of a team to consider yourself a rival of theirs. You might, you might consider them a rival because they own your ass. But to come in here and preach to everybody about moving on and how we're childish and then you continue to talk about it and talk about it being a husband and wife relationship breaking up, sounds like you're scorned there, Mikey boy. <laughs> And I can't respect you because, like I said earlier, you bowed down to the to the political mob and the pressures, man. After you said something, then you wouldn't stand up for it. After you took a shot at the BLM and all their hypocrisies and how they've been using minorities and swindling them out of money and stealing from minorities and not really caring about black folks, you backed away from it because you was afraid one of your players or a bunch of your players would leave because you had a different opinion. You let them bend you, Mike. So you want to come in here and try to bend us and preach to everybody about how bad Oklahoma is and how they're so greedy? Let me ask you something, Mikey boy. And you got to be honest, man. Be honest. Or I'll answer it for you. I'll pretend like I'm you. Here's a question to Mike behind closed doors. Hey, Mike, how would you in Oklahoma State like to join the SEC with Texas? We're going we're gonna, 
we're going to leave Oklahoma behind. We know they own your ass, and we should probably be inviting Oklahoma instead of you, but we're going to invite you because of that speech you give, man. It's so great. You know, talking about how you was 40 years old and shit, and how you was a man. Glad you told us you was a man because we'd never figured that out with that old long-ass girly mullet you got. But would you like to come on to the SEC, brother, and say, you know, Oklahoma can just stay in the Big 12? Here's my... Well, you damn right I will. I'll join it. Yeah, just, hey, give me the golden ticket. I'll take it. Me and Texas, and we'll go to the hell with them Sooners, man. The Bedlam rivalry, it's not really a rivalry anyway, man. We're never going to catch them. Not in 100 years we won't catch them. Not in 200 years. So, yeah, I'll join. That's exactly what, how it would happen, Mike. If Oklahoma State was giving an invitation to the SEC today, y'all be joining them tomorrow. If you could, man, you get old Boone Pickens to, to throw that buyout out there and you would join the damn SEC before Oklahoma and Texas. So the moral of the story here, class, is this. Don't be a hypocrite, especially with today's social media, because we can go back and screenshot stuff and, and show where you were a hypocrite and how you shouldn't be preaching to anybody about greed and how they shouldn't join the SEC and end a rivalry that's not really a rivalry. And that's all I got to say about that. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And as always, KMCA to all the other teams. Class is now officially dismissed.